What is up, Light Fam? Welcome to another video. My name is David, your spiritual awakening coach, here to help you through your spiritual awakening. You know, now more than ever, the ability to master our emotions <laughs> so that our emotions don't master us, this is also known as emotional intelligence, uh, has become a much needed ability. Uh, but it is certainly easier said than done when it comes to mastering your emotions. So today we are going to get into some of the most powerful techniques for how to have emotional intelligence so that you can master your emotions. Let's get into it right now. Let's go. to master your emotions. Stop avoiding them. <laughs> Stop repressing them. Stop fearing them. Just sit with those emotions and let them move through you. And try to sit with that emotion and figure out what is the root cause or the root belief associated with that emotion. And since it's usually our lower vibrational emotions that we try to avoid, we can start by looking for the root cause of that emotion by starting with the king of all low vibrations, and that is fear. <laughs> so if you're sitting with an emotion and you're trying to figure out what the root cause is, simply asking the question, what am I fearing, is a great place to start. Asking the question, what am I fearing, sends your mind on a little scavenger hunt to root out the belief behind that emotion. Once we find the belief, we can analyze whether or not that belief has any validity. What's its percentage for actually coming true? Nine times out of 10, you'll usually discover that that limiting belief comes from some childhood event and the actuality of it actually happening uh, is pretty low. Uh, now, if it is a legitimate fear, then that's your cue to get centered and step into your power and remind yourself that you are the creator of your own reality. And then take the action steps to ensure that everything turns out the way that you want it to. How to master your emotions. Well, I mentioned earlier that we want to sit with that emotion without fear without judgment. We want to feel that emotion in us and then we want to see that we're still alive. <laughs> we're okay, right? We're, we're still here. Everything is fine. And that demonstrates to yourself just how powerful you actually are, how much stronger you are than that fear, and it also takes you out of fight or flight. Once those fight or flight chemicals are shut off, the brain starts functioning logically again. <laughs> and then you can take some deep breaths, hold those deep breaths, and just allow that emotion to move through you. And then you want to release it. However you release emotion, you can release it to the universe, you can do some grounding and release it to Mother Gaia, or you can speak it out loud. I release you from me. And then you want to feel, it's a very important word, feel, feel that opposite emotion. Come in and feel you up and fill up that void that was just left behind by that lower vibrational emotion that we just released. How to master your emotions. Ask what did this emotion teach me? Maybe it helped you uncover a limiting belief that is holding you back from living the life that you really want to live. Uh, maybe it helped you identify a specific event from childhood that needs some shadow work to be healed. Uh, maybe it helped you realize that a lot of the fear and anxiety that you felt was irrational after you had a chance to sit with it and analyze it. You want to look at these negative emotions as a positive thing. Why? Because they are your greatest teacher. As well, they hold the key to unlocking the control that they have over your peace. <laughs> Again, negative emotions, look at them as a positive thing. And this is really what emotional intelligence is all about. 
How to master your emotions. Stop identifying as your emotions. What do I mean by this? Stop claiming them as my anxiety, my depression, my fear. When you claim something as your own, you identify as that. So my depression, my anxiety, my fear means that you identify as fear, as depression, as anxiety. Words have creative power, light fam. And let's not forget, what is the definition of love? To love something is to take it as yourself. So when you say my depression, my anxiety, my fear, subconsciously you're saying that you love your anxiety, you love your depression, you love your fear. Now, of course, that is not the conscious intention, but subconsciously you are programming your identity to those words. So switch out the my, just say, I have some anxiety, I have some depression, but those things are not your property. Those are not permanent. Those are just house guests, you know, temporary house guests that are just passing through. They have a message, right? So be a good host, offer them some, uh, you know, tea and cookies or whatever a good host does <laughs> and get the message. And then once they've worn, worn their welcome out, get them out of your house. <laughs> you are so much greater and bigger than an emotion. So don't disrespect yourself by identifying as some negative temporary emotion. How to master your emotions, release them. So I mentioned a couple of ways earlier, but we also want to have a physical release. Emotions are energy and energy is supposed to flow. This is why emotions are referred to as energy in motion. <laughs> so if you have bottled up emotions, that's just another way of saying that you have blocked energy and physical exercise is great for releasing that bottleneck and getting that energy flowing again. So this could look like, uh, of course, the gym, um, hiking, biking, jogging, swimming, whatever gets your energy up and out. Um, also, creativity is a great release for energy. So playing a musical instrument or singing, uh, creating some art, these are great for releasing that energy. Or one of my personal favorites is just hopping in the car, taking a drive, rolling down the windows, letting the wind go through your hair, cranking up the stereo, singing along, singing aloud, getting it all out. Uh, and remember, sound is also very cleansing as well. Now, question of the day. What are your favorite ways to master your emotions, Light Fam? Let us know in the comments below. Now, if you know someone that needs to learn how to master their emotions, please share this video with them. It may give them the emotional intelligence that they need to have some peace in their life. Uh, if you have a question for me, add me over on Instagram, underscore Lightways. Uh, if you are interested in working with a spiritual awakening coach one-on-one -on -one through Zoom, check the description below for details on how to do just that. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, please like it. And I think that's it. Oh, the notification bell. Turn on the notification bell. I've said all of this self-promotional stuff. Now it's time for <laughs> light, love, and abundance to all that are watching and to all you love. Peace, guys.